Hi, I'm Kaylin, the Choir of a Queen, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to install your grommets. I have my Choir Book page that is ready to be grommeted. It is sewn together and it has its holes punched. But before we start, I want to talk about the surface that you're using to grommet on because you will be hammering and I have a cutting board here, or it's actually a piece of wood, it's not a cutting board because in the past I've seen cutting boards split apart because they're just kind of pressed or glued together. So don't use a favorite cutting board. It does need to be a hard surface, not like a folding table. You could also get like a magazine and do it on your a hard floor or you can take it outside and maybe do it on the concrete, but just do a, have a protective surface that you're working on and not straight onto your countertops or your floor. So when you have grommets, you have two sets, two sides to a set. So this is the male. It is taller and more narrow and this is the female and it is shorter and more wide. So those go together to make one set. You take the male side and you push it through. That's going to be your top grommet and this is important when you're doing a cover because you want the nice side to be on the top and you're going to be hammering on the inside. So you push it through and then take your female and set that on top. Then you need your grommet tool which is available on my website and you take the black piece and you set it on your surface and then the bottom grommet is going to rest in that black piece. Now you need your silver tool. Now this part is very important that this wide circle is what's going to go down and set in your grommet. Then I'm going to hammer on this tall narrow piece. You can tell I'm also pushing down with my fingers to get a nice um, secure hold on it and then you're going to hammer maybe three times pretty hard. Four. Then you are going to check and you can see that all of the little, I don't know what you'd call them, but they're all flayed out nicely. There's no space in between and you can see it is nice on the top side. So then you will just repeat that process, stick your male side in the next hole, put the female on top, get my tool aligned, the black part goes on the bottom, the metal part circle goes in the top and then I'm going to push down, hammer, and there I have it. Now grommets are not necessary uh, to have a quiet book. You could leave them if you are concerned or you just don't want to do it. I don't think that the felt will pull. It's pretty sturdy with the stiffened felt, but you do wanna have a protection on your cover unless you decide to do buttonholes on your cover and then you could just use that as the opening and string your, um, binder rings through or you can use ribbon if you don't want to use binder rings there are different options for you